there friends! This is Riley and it has been 222 hours since I got my orchiectomy. I got it last Thursday and it is now Sunday so it's been about 10 days and so I'm making this video just to let you know how my feelings are and how the experience has been. I'll be talking way more technically about the whole process but this is just kind of my at the moment Sunday morning feelings. So here we go! Okay, so I want to talk about three specific things. So the swelling has been the most significant thing, as well as pain and pain management, as well as how the rest of my body has reacted to it, including my emotions and stuff. So let's first talk about the swelling. Despite having read everything possible to have read about uh, orchiectomies and all that kind of stuff, the one thing that I still kind of had in my mind that I imagined, and, and though I knew it wouldn't be true, was the fact that I was going to come out of the operating room and feel down there and it was going to feel different and new and, and congruent. And that really hasn't been the case because of the swelling. So um, for me, they, they did the one where they, they, they don't take it from here, but they take it from the um, incision on the scrotum. And from there, it, I came out of the, uh, the operating room feeling like I had about a, a softball size um, swelling down there. And so... At this point, it's about the size that my parts used to be. So it really, if you look at right now at my parts, they don't look much different than before the surgery. And I understand that they did their job and stuff, but it really doesn't look like anything changed, and, uh, uh, except the bruising and stuff like that. And it's a lot redder and angrier than it should be, and obviously there's, there's stitches and stuff. And so the swelling has kind of prevented this, like, really emotional feeling around it because it really kind of feels like I just got kicked in the groin and they swole up and everything like that and so um but uh, it's just going to be a matter of days before you know it kind of goes back to normal and then there's just nothing there which i'm really looking forward to but again like it it doesn't feel like a lot has changed but internally it has i have been sleeping much better i've been um you know not taking that spiro has been really beneficial i i feel like my tummy's been better um it took me about a week to have a bowel movement um but, and I did lose about six pounds in weight and just within the first couple of days. Um, but I also wasn't eating great before this, the, the um, operation because I was kind of anxious and everything like that. And so um, my body overall has reacted quite a bit to this. So the first night I didn't get pain medication. They give you a general and a uh, local during the, the procedure. But um, I uh, see I'm cocking my legs up to kind of just feel a little bit more comfortable because it's it kind of just it's not uncomfortable all the time. And if I'm sitting down or especially kind of reclining, it's fine. But when I'm just sitting like this on the edge of a bed and it, there's pressure on it, it does kind of feel uncomfortable and stuff. Um, and standing and walking around can feel very uncomfortable. And there's bruising all up my thighs and stuff. You'll you'll see the pictures. It's not great. But uh, back to the point, I uh, they give you a local and a general, and at the uh, hospital they gave me one five milligram uh, roxycodone, and I didn't have a lot of ice to put on it, and it's a long story, but I just didn't have um, availability for these sort of things. Plus, they sent the pain medication to a different pharmacy that I couldn't get to, and because it was a narcotic, it I couldn't get it that night. So I went a whole night with without a lot of you know, um, ice and, and, and assistance when it comes to things like that. The pain has mostly been like aching and pinching and stuff like that and not a lot of like incision pain. When people were looking at it, they were like, that looks like a 10. And for me, it was like a five. And <laughs> so like even right now, I feel like I'm at a three, but I'm also feel like I'm a wimp sometimes. Like when I get dentistry or stub my toe, I can be really affected by that pain. So to dot your I's and, and cross your T's and stuff like that, especially before the surgery. Um, to make sure that you're going to be comfortable. Uh, I wish I would have brought my video game console downstairs instead of being up and up where where it usually is and stuff like that. So little things like that to make yourself more comfortable would be really good. But the main thing is, I still to this day haven't bought enough ice packs and stuff like that. But you really want a lot of soft, gooey, meldable ice packs just to put on yourself. And um, those really, you know, as soon as I'm done talking here, I'm going to put one on and it's going to feel so much better. And I'm going to go, ah. And, um, but overall, I mean, I'm very happy. I know this sounds really negative, but it's not um, because, you know, I, these are just growing pains and none of it has been too debilitating. The, the most frustrating thing about it for me is I've spent too much time on social media and stuff. And, um, you know, I, I'm in a lot of pain and stuff, and so uh, 
you know, my, some of my social media interactions have, have not been great and stuff. And so this, for me, I haven't hit the emotional peak of this yet. You know what I mean? I still feel kind of like I'm just going through the motions and still healing and stuff. And again, when I look at myself in the mirror, I look the same as I did, except with more bruising. And so again, I know I'm a grown up. I know that a week from now, things are going to be way different. I'm going to be a lot happier. I guess my biggest recommendation is do your diligence and take your time off and really try to plan and have people around you that are, are really going to super support you and stuff. And this morning I was really sad and I came downstairs and you know, I got a warm hug from somebody I love and, and that made me feel a lot better. And I think I might have some emotional problems in my life at, at, at points. And, and part of that is because, um, you know, of this incongruency and this testosterone and stuff. And so now that this testosterone is leaving my body, I'm encountering a lot and I'm, I'm dealing with a lot right now. And for me, this is a, a journey of self-discovery and some of the things I'm going to discover aren't great. And I'd rather address them and, and try to work on them. Um, but I also am somebody who over judges myself and, 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 um, tends to direct a lot of self-hatred and stuff. And I'm not sure if that's healthy to, to, to sit here say, saying that I have emotional problems and stuff like that, because, you know, I feel like I am most of the time on a very even keel and I'm feeling pretty good and stuff. And so I don't, it's a tough balance. Okay. So ice packs and make sure you have your medication figured out and you are well planned and um, don't get too introspective, especially in YouTube videos. The orchiectomy is just another physical thing and, and stuff and I'll get over it just like I would get over a really big bad bruise and um, but I need to take and I will take the next week up until um, Valentine's when I have a big concert and stuff I'm going to. Um, I'm just going to take some time to look at myself and look interior and figure out what's going on with me and um, not be too hard on myself and just enter this new phase in my life where I stop having to think about sexual reassignment surgery and stuff because I've done it. And so that's what I haven't, that's what hasn't clicked yet for me is that I'm, I've done it, that I truly have done it and that I'm ready to move on to the next chapter of my life and with this beautiful new congruent self of mine. And, and so I'm not a crier and, but I am now, I think I'm just really starting to be happy and, and, and it feels like there was just a big boot on me my whole life and it's gone now. And maybe that gets me in trouble because I feel like I can speak and be brave. Um, <laughs> and the world doesn't really like a, a really brave trans girl sometimes. Um, but at the same time, I, um, just feel really happy and and I'm just gonna keep being me and I'm gonna work on myself and work on how I communicate with other people and, and stuff like that but but I'm good and I'm very happy and this video wasn't really about my orchiectomy but it was more about me and um but I'll be talking more technically in the future so okay happy thoughts and lots of love for me and the monk and the, the raccoon and all the snugglers so um, thanks for going on with me with this journey and I'm gonna just keep making stuff whether people <laughs> whether people watch it or not and I really appreciate everybody who supports me and you know supports these little guys too so <laughs> bye thanks and big hugs <laughs>